Good morning. Well, it's been a while. Uh, I did not do a uh, reading last week, um, mainly because, well, Friday I didn't ride a travel. So there's that. Um, reason being, uh, the whole family had the day off. School was out that day. Um, why was that? Oh, it was Veterans Day, right? Right? Wasn't that it? Yeah, I think so. Um, so it was Veterans Day. And um, everybody had the day off, so everybody was hanging out in the office, and yeah, I just, you yeah, know, it was family day. Plus, I was deep into um, going over the edits and uh, all the notes and comments and everything on Stone Cold Bastards, uh, my latest novel that'll be out probably February. Well, I guess not latest novel, because Roke is coming before that. But anyway, Stone Cold Bastards will be out uh, February-ish, right around there. And you'll have more info about that, of course. But yeah, when I'm deep into edits, it's hard to think about anything else. That's that. But anyway, you're here for the Drabble reading. You are, because, um, well, because you've uh, subscribed to the mailing list, and you're awesome. And I appreciate it. So this is free. Me to you. All right, so I'm going to read this puppy. Uh, but before I do, uh, you will notice, because you got an email that has the link to this reading, um, but um, also has other links, specifically the link to the Mountain of Words Write-a-thon, um, which helps uh, Asheville uh, writers in the schools uh, and area, and I believe national program, uh, that uh, puts uh, professional writers, um, experienced writers, uh, into schools and uh, help um, foster uh Writing dreams, basically writing abilities of low income and uh, not as privileged as uh, us white folk um, kids. That's, I mean, that's that's just the deal. Especially, I mean, we're talking Asheville. Uh, Asheville is very segregated um, along socioeconomic lines, and um, which those socioeconomic lines uh, fall strictly, uh, pretty much. Uh, along racial lines, which sucks, you know, it really does. This is this is a liberal hotbed, um, one of those places in America, uh, like Burlington, Vermont, like Austin, Texas, like, you know, Boulder, Colorado, like Eugene, Oregon, like places like that, um, yet it is unbelievably segregated, which is just crazy. Um, and everyone's trying to do what they can uh, to try and remedy that. And Asheville Writers and Schools is one of those things. And the Mountain of Words Write-A-Thon, which I will be participating in and am participating in um, on Saturday, uh, tomorrow, if you're getting this on Friday, which you will be. And if you're watching it on any other day other than Friday, then it is Saturday the 19th, uh, 1 to 4 p.m. at Malaprops. I'll be type, type, typey, typing um, for three hours um, to just help raise money. Um, for this cause. So uh, there are links where you can pledge and it's not like you're pledging five bucks for every hour I write. You're, it's just a blanket donation. Okay. So please give. Seriously. I mean it. Seriously. Please give. Um, right now I think uh, I've only got two pledges, which considering how many times I've sent out this link, um, that's not cool. Anyway, all right, let's get into the Drabble. This is free of charge. You get it for free. Free doesn't cost you anything. Maybe you'll show your appreciation by donating to kids in need. That would be awesome. Just saying. All right, we're going to get into it. And as always, I do appreciate you all. And uh, thanks for signing up for the mailing list. Um, hey. You know, I hope you all have a good weekend. Hope you have a good life. I hope things um, get better for you if you're hurting right now. I know a lot of people are. All right? Cheers. Name One Era by Jake Bible. What's that? Lyle asked. Time machine, Hopper replied. A time machine? Seriously? Lyle said. Do you know how dangerous that is? Why would you build that? To go back when to when this country was great. Hopper said, powering up the machine. Um, when the hell was that? Lyle asked. Please, name one era where this country wasn't ruled by greed and bigotry. Well, that's easy, Hopper replied. It was, uh, well, you know. You got nothing, Lyle said. Come on, let's get a beer. 
1870s beer? Hopper asked, hopeful. Sure, an 1870s beer, Lyle said, if that'll make you feel better. And there we go. That's the Drabble. Yes, it does have uh, political, cultural, and social undertones to it. Or overtones, if you will. I wasn't being too subtle on that one. Anyway, um, yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing to the um, newsletter and mailing list. And hopefully, thank you for pledging to Mountain of Words Write-a-thon. Uh, the links are in the newsletter. Please click on them. I mean, a dollar, two dollars, three dollars. I mean, I know there's a lot of people. There's 189 people subscribed to this mailing list. It's a small list right now, but 189 people. I mean, come on. Three of you give five bucks, ten bucks, whatever. That would be awesome. That would be great, you know? But don't make the mistake of thinking someone else is going to give because I think a lot of people are making that mistake right now and it's not happening, all right? Uh, people just aren't giving, which sucks because now is the time to give. All right. Enough of that. Have a great time. Thanks for watching. Cheers, y'all.